Hi, welcome back for another episode of Style Chats with Emily and Elise. And today we are taking on the Gen Zers. Yes. Because Elise and I have decided that we're keeping our skinny jeans. <laughs> this has been a really popular topic lately. And I think this really um, puts focus on a really good point yes. because the fashion industry is an industry. Yes. They are always trying to sell you something. They're going to so, make money. Exactly. So all these new trends, like all the new stuff that comes out every season that you feel like you have to constantly keep up with and constantly yeah. make sure that you're, you know, like revamping your wardrobe and getting new things. It's, it is a business like anything else. And fashion is different than style. Style is something that's very personal. Mm -hmm. It's something that you develop over time and something that's very unique to you. So whatever works for, for you, for your body, whatever trends actually compliment you. Yeah. Compliment you, compliment your wardrobe or your lifestyle, yeah. the stuff you already have, or add just like a little extra something to those pieces that you have. Yeah. Those are the things that you should keep. And, and if they don't work, then get rid of them or don't even try them either. Because if you're, you know, at the store, assuming we can go back to stores one day, um, and you're trying something on and you're just like, why is this not working? I want to be in style. I want to be trendy, but it's just not working for me. Don't buy it. It's okay. You can still look great and not be the trendiest person. So if, if you love it, embrace it. If not, move on. I know Emily and I were talking about how there's certain things that may go in and out of style, but if it's something that you like, just because it's not trendy now, doesn't mean you're going to look bad. Honestly, you can rock something that's super retro that is not in style now and look amazing in it. If it fits you well and it fits your body and you feel confident, that's all that matters. How do you think jumpsuits came back? I know so many people who talk about how in the seventies, oh, they shouldn't have gotten rid of their, their jumpsuits. Exactly. Granted, some jumpsuits today look a little bit different than they did yes. in the 70s, <laughs> but they're back yeah. and they're comfy as heck. Yeah. I mean, I love a jumpsuit, but I also love cold shoulder and we always, Emily and I always joke about that because I loved them before they were popular. I loved them when they had their huge run, what, a couple of years ago? Yeah. And even now that they're like not the thing anymore, I am still going to rock my cold shoulders because I like my shoulders and I feel good in them. So, you know what? Who cares? You be... The judge of what works for you with your closet you want to have your core standard pieces that are your go-to's that you feel confident in that are always gonna look great on you and then maybe just like pepper in some of those like trendy pieces like whether it's a trendy accessory or like one or two trendy tops or something you know it doesn't have to be oh this is trendy I have to wear this or I have to revamp my whole wardrobe to accommodate this trend. No, but you should know what works for your body. And if you're not sure what does, that's where somebody else, somebody, you know, like a stylist with a little bit more expertise can help you understand why things work or why they don't work. Thanks for joining us again. And we will see you next week. Let me just back it up. <laughs> and I think, and I don't know what I think. <laughs> Exhibit A, the jumpsuit. I have had so many people. <laughs> I didn't do that. In my head, you did. Why did I say that weird? I said you. All right, one more time. Okay. <laughs>